the AI arms race is accelerating at a breakneck pace, and AMD is no longer quietly trailing in the shadow of its larger rivals. With the release of its Q2 2025 earnings and a series of confident forward-looking interviews from CEO Lisa Su, AMD has made it abundantly clear it's here to compete, not just in CPUs, not just in gaming, but at the very heart of AI infrastructure. And unlike the hype-driven narratives that often dominate headlines, AMD is backing its words with consistent execution, product leadership, and customer adoption across some of the world's most critical tech verticals. In the latest quarter, AMD delivered 32% year-over-year revenue growth, crossing the $7.7 .7 billion mark. That number alone is impressive, but it's what sits underneath that makes this quarter so compelling. AMD saw strength across all major business segments, data center, client PCs, gaming, and embedded systems. While macroeconomic headwinds and regulatory noise might rattle other chipmakers, AMD's diversified execution gives it a multi-engine advantage. And as Lisa Su put it during her post-earnings interviews, we're in the early stages of an industry-wide AI transformation. AMD isn't just reacting to this shift, it's helping build the infrastructure that makes it possible. At the center of AMD's momentum is its data center business, led by its fifth-generation EPYC CPUs, dubbed Turin. These chips are being deployed in record numbers across both cloud and enterprise workloads. AMD is steadily taking market share from incumbents, with 33 consecutive quarters of year-over-year -year share gains in the server CPU market. That's not a fluke. That's what happens when you deliver the kind of performance, power efficiency, and price-to-performance ratio that cloud giants and enterprises are demanding. Major hyperscalers like Google and Oracle are not only using EPYC CPUs, they're expanding their deployments aggressively. AMD-powered cloud instances now number nearly 1,200 worldwide, including new high-performance offerings launched just this quarter. These chips are being used in everything from public cloud infrastructure to aerospace, finance, healthcare, and telecom. Nokia and KDDI, for instance, are using EPYC processors to modernize their 5G network infrastructure. Meanwhile, OEMs like Dell, Lenovo, HPE, and Supermicro are rolling out dozens of new Turin-based server platforms, further expanding AMD's reach. This kind of penetration is crucial in the current environment. As AI workloads scale, they're creating massive demand not just for GPUs, but for CPUs. Because every AI token generated requires multiple CPU intensive tasks. AMD's leadership in server CPUs positions it to benefit from both sides of this AI equation. But if CPUs are the foundation, it's AMD's AI accelerators, the Instinct platform, that could be the breakout story of the next phase. The launch of the MI350 series, especially the MI355 accelerator, marks a huge leap forward. These chips are already proving to be highly competitive with NVIDIA's B200 and GB200 in training and inference performance, while offering significantly lower cost and system complexity. For customers looking for performance per dollar, the MI355 offers as much as 40% more tokens per dollar. That's a major differentiator in a market where cost, efficiency, and scalability are everything. What's even more impressive is how quickly AMD is bringing these products to market. The MI350 ramp began ahead of schedule, with volume production starting in June. Oracle is already building a 27,000-plus node AI cluster combining MI355X accelerators, AMD's fifth Gen EPYC CPUs and its Polara Smart NICs. That's a full stack deployment, one that signals confidence not just in AMD's silicon, but in its ecosystem. Looking ahead, AMD's next move is already in motion. The MI400 series, slated for launch in 2026, is being described by Lisa Su as a giant step forward. The company's new Helios platform will tie together the MI400's power with rack scale integration, offering up to 72 GPUs operating as a single massive. AI engine. According to Su, Helios is designed for the most demanding frontier models in AI and is expected to deliver up to a 10 times performance gain over its predecessor. That's not just competitive, that's market shaping. AMD isn't doing this alone. It's made key acquisitions to accelerate its roadmap, acquiring software and hardware teams, including ZT Systems, to strengthen its ability to deliver full-stack AI platforms. The Helios platform is the culmination of that effort, bringing together everything AMD AMD has learned about chips, systems, and software into one cohesive solution. This is happening at a time when global demand for AI infrastructure is booming. Enterprises, governments, and hyperscalers are all racing to build the capacity needed to power the next wave of models, tools, and platforms. And AMD is increasingly at the center of those conversations. One of the most fascinating growth vectors is sovereign AI. Countries around the world want their own national AI infrastructure, data centers 
they control, on hardware they trust. AMD's open ecosystem and deep hardware software integration make it a natural partner. A prime example is the multi-billion dollar deal with Saudi Arabia's Humane Initiative. This engagement will deploy AMD hardware across national compute centers, and it represents just one of more than 40 active sovereign engagements AMD is currently pursuing. Lisa Su made it clear, this is not a replacement for their hyperscaler business. It's additive, a new growth engine on top of what's already scaling. That said, the road hasn't been entirely smooth. AMD, like others, has been caught in the crosshairs of US export restrictions, particularly around the MI308 accelerator in China. This led to an $800 million inventory write-down in Q2. However, Lisa Su approached this issue with transparency and composure. Rather than speculate on outcomes, AMD excluded MI308-related China revenue from Q3 guidance and is waiting for license approval from the Department of Commerce. Meanwhile, most of the impacted inventory is still work in progress, not finished goods, giving AMD time to retool its supply chain and deploy capital wisely. This ability to adapt, to face geopolitical and regulatory headwinds without losing focus, is a key differentiator. AMD isn't betting its business on a single chip, customer, or region. It's executing a multi-pronged strategy across client computing, gaming, embedded systems, and AI infrastructure, and it's doing so with discipline. Take client computing for example. AMD's Ryzen processors are flying off the shelves. Desktop CPU sales hit record highs in Q2, powered by Ryzen 9000 and X3D series chips. In mobile, AMD is gaining ground in premium notebooks and commercial laptops, with growing partnerships across HP, Lenovo, and now Dell. Demand for AMD-powered enterprise PCs rose over 25% year over year, and with Threadripper processors reaching up to 96 cores, AMD is setting a new standard for creative professionals and workstation users. In gaming, AMD continues to lead in both consoles and discrete GPUs. Revenue in this segment soared 73% year-over-year. AMD announced new multi-year chip deals with Microsoft and deepened its partnership with Sony. And in PC gaming, the Radeon 9000 series is gaining traction fast. The Radeon AI Pro R9700, designed for inferencing and model fine-tuning, shows AMD's commitment to fusing gaming and AI in powerful new ways. All of this is happening during a pivotal macroeconomic period. Interest rates remain high, inflation is still sticky, and investors are once again distinguishing between hype and substance. In this environment, AMD's results speak for themselves. It's not just participating in the AI boom, it's proving that it can scale with purpose, diversify intelligently, and execute at a global level. What makes this story especially compelling is AMD's long-term vision. It's not about chasing revenue for the next quarter, it's about building the foundation for a computer computing future that's more open, more affordable, and more powerful. As Lisa Su noted, we see a clear path to scaling our AI business to tens of billions of dollars in annual revenue. That's not a slogan, it's a blueprint. In a market increasingly driven by AI, AMD is offering an alternative to monopoly, a path toward innovation with execution, and a future that's not just fast, but built to last. For investors tracking the next great wave of technological disruption, AMD isn't a side story anymore, it's the main event.